Hello everyone, this is Lloyd from the Airgun Lab. Today we're going to be taking a high velocity shot in a PCP, very high velocity. Not sure how fast it's going to go. Got a uh, special barrel here, smooth bore, 278 caliber, 47 and a half inches long. Shooting across a crony. The chronograph set up here. Have a uh, special pellet. Has an O ring on it made out of aluminum. We'll weigh it in just a minute. Going to be shooting it through this barrel. Got a special block here to release it, to fire it. It's really a, uh, got 55 cc's in it, and the way it works is you can see right here these two pink levers. They're going to grip the pellet like a clamshell. Pressure will build up behind it. Then the pellet, then the levers will, I'll release them, and it will release the pellet. So they're going to be clamping on this pinched waist of the pellet. I'm going to go ahead and weigh the pellet right now. Again, 278 caliber, 47 and a half inch barrel. Just about exactly nine grains. Uh, 55 cc dump chamber. Got uh, air tank over here. I don't have quite 4,500 psi in it. I'll let you know how much it fills up with. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, camera on a tripod right now. I need two hands to take in deal with all this stuff. In the pellet, okay, it's reading 9.1 grains this time. 9.1, let's call it 9.1. All right. Go ahead and load the pellet into the barrel. Make sure the O-ring's up on there good and tight. Here's the uh, breech block. Barrel fits down inside here. Uh, you probably can't see the movement inside there. But anyway, that's what's clamping and unclamping. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on here. I've got it in an unclamped position. rings in there for it to seal on. Move the camera here. Got this double pin lock coming up from the bottom. Locks the uh, breech block onto the uh, barrel. I'm going to go ahead and Unclamp this and slide it back into the firing position. Looks like we're aligned with the chronograph. Now I'm going to uh, I'm 
and set this spring up on here. This spring assists in unclamping the clamshells, clamshells very quickly, but it also makes it very difficult to get my release mechanism on. Release mechanism's a little crude. Uh, after the pressure builds up sufficiently, I'll just pull this off like a trip pin. Uh, springs will force that back in, let the pellet release, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, let me go ahead and move the camera again. I think we can see the Chronograph everything right now. I'm going to go ahead and hook the air up. We're good there. Okay, I'm going to get uh, my hearing protection on. I'm going to go ahead and start filling. I'll let you know how the fill pressure goes. Five hundred, about a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, twenty five, three, thirty five hundred, and right at four. That's all I have. Here we go. All right. That was a good one. If you can see, let me zoom in on this. Two thousand thirty-one feet per second. Uh, I don't know if there's any sort of record around here, but. Uh, it's pretty fast. So this is Lloyd from the Airgun Lab. See you later.